Hey everyone, this is Travis at Full Spectrum Laser. I know you're probably really excited to get that brand new Muse you just ordered, but there's a few safety precautions that you should take before we even begin. Now, before you even get the Muse in the mail, there's a few things that you can do to get set up. Make sure your work area is well ventilated or at least has a window or a door to run your exhaust fan through. Don't worry, if you don't have a great ventilation available, we have fume extraction systems available that filter all the harmful stuff out of the air. If you go that route, just be sure to keep an eye on those filters and replace them as needed. Check your workspace to make sure it's level and that the area is clear of debris and other tripping hazards. Make note of where you'd like your cooling solution and exhaust to go, as you'll have water, air, and ducting for which you'll need to accommodate. Everything looking good? Great. Now just make sure you have an easily accessible place to put your fire extinguisher. Always have one on hand and check it often to make sure it is in working condition. While fire extinguishers don't have an expiration date, it's probably not a good idea to have an old one sitting around. Also, make sure to have a first aid kit on hand that is designated for the initial treatment of burns and smoke inhalation. Now that you've gotten your Muse, take a step back for a second and examine the packaging. Make sure you see no visible damage, and also as you are unpackaging the Muse, make sure there is no damage to the machine itself. While our team has a very thorough quality check process that every Muse goes through before it's packaged, sometimes things happen during shipment. If this is the case, contact our support team right away so we can get this resolved as soon as possible. It is unsafe to operate a damaged machine. Never disassemble the machine or remove any of its protective covers without working with one of our support technicians. They'll help you safely resolve any issues. If everything checks out, go ahead and get it set up. The Muse may be very heavy and awkward to lift, so ask for help with lifting it into place. So now that your Muse is set up and you're ready to go, there are a few things you want to keep in mind. Before you begin, make sure you know what your materials are made of. You don't want to cut any PVC or vinyl under any circumstances. These materials, along with others, produce chlorine gas when used in your laser. This is a very toxic vapor that is lethal to humans, as well as highly corrosive to your Muse. So it's best just to stay away from those materials. If you don't know what your materials are made of, consult the manufacturer or seller of that material to get the Material Safety Data Sheet or MSDS, so you can see if it is safe to use and that it doesn't produce any toxic vapors as a result. If you aren't able to get the MSDS, it would probably be best just to move on to something else and don't even try. It's not worth the risk. Finally, never leave your Muse unattended while it's running. It'll be very tempting to step away during those longer projects, but for the safety of yourself and the safety of those around you, please stay close by with the fire extinguisher handy. Be sure to like and subscribe for more how-to videos and awesome laser content.